Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a Maya Python scripting tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at scripting a useful tool for production. With this tool you can easily and quickly transfer skinning and skin clusters from one geometry to a new one. It's a one-click solution and it will save you time in production, so let's get started. First, import Maya commands as cmds. Next, let's define a variable called objects. This variable is going to contain the shape relatives of the geometry selected. Next we'll need to get the history of the shape we selected. Use the list history command level 3 to get the skin cluster information. Let's define skc and list the shape history that we just defined above, only grabbing the skin cluster type. After that we want to define the mesh we want to apply the new skin cluster to. So let's define the target mesh by listing the selected objects in brackets minus 1. Minus 1 is a way to get to the end of a list. Let's get back to this in a second. Now let's put our code in a definition and don't forget to indent it by either four spaces or select the whole thing and hit tab. At the end of the definition name object cell, insert parentheses and colon. Now let's create an if sentence checking if anything has been selected for the script. If the length of the list selection equals true is smaller than 2, return false, else run the script. This basically means that if less than 2 things have been selected, the script's not going to do anything. If two things have been selected or more, the script is going to try and execute. Make sure that both the if and else sentence ends with a colon and any code that's under those should be indented again. If you make a mistake here, running the script will give you an indentation error. Now let's define the shape history variable, listing the history of the target object to see if it has a skin cluster. Let's define old skc as the skin cluster from the shape history derived from the target geometry. If old skc colon, meaning if anything is in the old skc variable, if a skin cluster is there, Delete it. Else, let's find the influence joints from the old skin cluster. Let's use the skin cluster command and query the weighted influence of the SKC, the skin cluster, the old skin cluster from the original geometry. Now we can create a new skin cluster using the joints queried from the old skin cluster and apply it to the target geometry. Once we've created a skin cluster on the new geometry, let's use the copy skin weights command to copy the skin weights from the old geometry to the new one. SS stands for source skin cluster and should be equal to the old skin cluster skc, brackets 0 because skc contains a list with more elements than just the skin cluster. So we need to get the index 0, the first element of the list. ds stands for destination skin cluster and should be set to the new skc, the new skin cluster. No mirror should be set to true as we don't want to mirror the skin weights but rather copy them. And finally the surface association should be set to closest point. Let's rename the new skin cluster the same as the old one. Now this whole thing is ready to get wrapped into a definition, so let's create a definition called assign skc assign skin cluster and the input objects should be the skc, the skin cluster, the old skin cluster and the target geometry.
Now the object cell definition is going to run before the assign skc definition. So at the end of the object cell definition, let's execute the assign skc definition, inserting the values gained throughout the script skc and target, the old skin cluster and the target geometry. Don't forget to put this in parentheses after the assign skc definition name. Once the whole script has been executed, at the very end we want to run it. So let's input object cell in parentheses nothing. This will run the first definition, which will then execute the second definition, and then our script is done. Now all we need to do is select the first geometry, and then select the new geometry and run the script. This will copy the skin cluster and all the weight influence from the old geometry to the new one. During my time working in the VFX industry, I found this tool to be very useful, as assets are often updated due to client feedback or technical limitations or corrections. As a rigger I have to deliver the updated asset as quickly as possible back to animation so as to not extend the deadline of the project. That's why I find this tool very useful and I hope you'll find it useful too. For more tips, tricks and tutorials, don't forget to visit my homepage blobyab.com.